y'all it's alexis here welcome back to my channel and today we are in a different setting we're in my bathroom so we're doing a skincare video the poll on my instagram if you guys follow if not it's in the uh, description box below if you want to check that out it's where i get interactive with my people we do some polls i post on my story a little chat with me stuff um yeah so i did a recent poll on which video you guys would rather see a skincare routine or my everyday under 10 minute makeup look and the winner was the skincare routine but don't worry people that other video will be coming soon okay so if you want to see how you get this acne free skin just stay tuned and i'll show you my tips thank you guys First thing is first, let's get this hair out of the way because she's, no. <laughs> Woo! Just put it in like a little bun with this little, I don't, I don't care. Okay, so first I want to tell you guys one thing. For the ladies and gents who wear makeup, this is a, a race your face which is like the brand of this towel. It's not an ordinary towel. You just get it wet and it makes um, taking your makeup off really, really easy. Like mascara, just all of it. It comes off super well. So if you're into reusing and not using a bunch of makeup wipes, this is a great substitution. Um, I, I'm i sure you can find this online. I bought it at DSW, the shoe store. They just had these in the little line to check out but yeah they work really well i have a couple of these obviously my bathroom is like this teal bluish theme but i just thought i'd throw this in there because this has saved me when i'm out of makeup wipes or i don't want to use a makeup wipe this works really well that was my cat if you heard her <laughs> anyway but yeah so but some good makeup wipes or the neutrogena ones the the blue packaged ones or there's really good ones by Burt's Bee which are also blue packaging for dry skin um there's another brand but I can't think anyways there's just a lot of good ones out there but my all-time favorite of the maker the maker <laughs> the neutrogena ones the makeup remover yeah you, you get what I'm saying those are probably my favorite they work the best. I mean, if you're curious, but we're kind of off topic now. So let's just, you know, get into the skincare. So first step is toner. Um, I don't know why I just spaced out, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I use the clarifying lotion twice a day exfoliator. It's the very dry to dry. It says it down below. It's the number one. That's my cat. You guys want to say hello? Number one of the fur balls. I have two, but the other one's somewhere else. Okay. Anyway, so this is what I use. Um, and then I just use one of these like little towelettes. I don't know what you call these, to be honest. Um the non-exfoliating ones because those ones are a little rough for my skin and you just you know and then I just rub this all over my face and you also want to do everything you do to your face to your neck and to the back of your hands so you know down my neck hands A little bit more. And that's all for the toner. And the next step is my under eye cream. And no, this video is not sponsored by Clinique, but your girl wishes. So, Clinique. <laughs> yeah, okay. We tried. Because <laughs> I use all our moisturizers. I use under eye cream, their toner. Their stuff is just really good for dry skin. I mean, they have stuff that's really good for all skin types, but I've just found that for dry skin, this is one of the best brands. And I mean, it's not too expensive, so. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge 96 Hour um, Under Eye Cream. It's in like this little tube. You just pump it out. I always do my um, ring finger because it's like the finger that has like the softest touch. And for under your eyes, 
you don't want to use a lot of pressure. So I'm just going to rub this out. I'm sorry about my cat. Really, I am. Let's just make sure we're all nice and hydrated. Okay, just close the door because we're trying to focus. So. And I don't use this every day, but some days I use it. I use it probably a couple times a week maybe. It's this little e.l.f. hydrating booster drops. Just because it gives me a little extra hydration. If my skin's like super dry, I'll use it because my skin is just, you know. And winter's coming upon us, so. Just do one drop on the forehead. Rub that in. Cheeks. Rub that in. Put on the nose. I'll rub that in. At night, this is an overnight moisturizer. And it's supposed to be super hydrating also by Clinique. So I don't use this every night, which is weird because it's for night. And you should use a night moisturizer and a day moisturizer. But this is the one that I use for the daytime and night. It's the Moisture Surge by Clinique, the 72-hour auto-replenishing hydrator. I just got this, the blue one. So... I don't know if it works as well as this yet because I literally just got this a week ago and I haven't used it. I've only used it a couple times. So if you guys would like an updated deal on this story or my YouTube story or we can make like a skincare part two video if like an updated one or something within like six months to a year from now or something if you guys want. I mean obviously that's way in the future but I can still give you guys a little update on this but this is what I've been using, and to be honest, this I know 100% hydrates my face. So, we'll use a little bit of both, actually. Because that way I can keep on testing this and use my OG together, you know. So, I'm going to start with this one. It's just hard to, like, pick and choose because it's, like, <laughs> trying new things are scary sometimes. But this feels really nice on my skin. Like, after I put this on, my skin feels really soft and hydrated. So I know it's doing something. I just don't know if it's, like, quite as, like, a long, longing moisture. Because the 72-hour one, I know works. I've been using that for a year, like, a couple years now. And that's just been my favorite one. So, I mean, you can always double layer, which is what I'm doing today. So, I mean, when in doubt, you know. But honestly, I'd say the key to having acne-free skin a little bit is just finding out what cleanser works really well for you. Because I was using the Neutrogena Pink Grapefruit Acne one, and then it was making my skin extra dry because that's what, you know, acne ones do. They dry out the acne, you know, because it's usually more oily-prone skin gets acne. Um... So then I switched to their Hydro Boost one, which they just came out. And, like, for me, I found that I don't like jelly scrubs. I like more of the typical soap that you have to lather your hands to, like, bubble it up kind of soap. Because that works better on my, with my skin. So it's all about trial and error. But I would not recommend trying too much in a short amount of time before you really find out what you like. I would give products a couple months. See what happens. Unless you get like red or start breaking out right away, then you know, drop the product, throw it away. But you know, if you're not sure if you're seeing improvement, give it a couple of months. Still not, then I try something else. Where for me, I used to get a lot of whiteheads on my forehead, which was the cause of the drying out face wash I was using. And then I switched, and now my skin is like, wow, hydrated, perfect. Like, I love my skin, you know? So it's just about finding what's good for your skin type and another thing is that if you have dry skin you can never use too much moisturizer so like don't forget to wash your face twice a day don't forget to moisturize your face twice a day because it's so crucial even for those combination skin or normal skin or oily skin washing your face twice a day is what will give you the skin you want trust me <laughs> That's how I am here today. And then sometimes I use a facial spray. And right now I'm loving the St. Ives Grapefruit Scent. I don't use this every day, but I, it hydrates my skin again. And then I, uh, let me reach. I also have it in lavender. So these are really cool. They're at Target. That's where I got them. They're like, I don't know, 8 or $9. 
pretty affordable. And then I'm going to talk about this little mask I have. It's a hydrating mask overnight. It's by Burt's Bees and it has avocado oil in it. I got this also at DSW, but I'm sure you can find it online, maybe in Target, but I'm not 100% sure about Target. But anyway, you just put it on your face and then within 10 minutes it should be like pretty much dry and then just like rub your face together and then go to sleep. And then when you wake up, your face is like baby soft. But those are my main skincare things that I do. And yeah, that's how I have the skin I have. Oh, I forgot to put moisturizer on my hands. Let's just do that really quick. Okay. We're good. Anyway, so that's what I do for my skin. Just remember, guys and girls, wash your face twice a day and do your skincare routine. And I mean, just find out what works best for you. And that's all I have for today. Thanks you, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something or I helped you in any way. Or you just, you know, enjoyed this video. I had a really fun time filming it. I appreciate you guys. I love my subscribers, my followers. You guys are the ones making this happen. Um, yeah, so thank you and stay tuned for my next one. Love you guys. Bye.